Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to go into Bingham, the town, and we're going to try to spot landmarks and iconic buildings on the way. So stay tuned. Today we're going to talk about Bingham, the town. Bingham was named after two brothers, Thomas and Stanford Bingham. They settled in this area in August of 1848. They were tending cattle and horses belonging to Brigham Young up here. So here's a picture of their, well, at least Stanford's uh, family and his sons. They will eventually move away, but the name will remain Bingham Canyon. Ore was discovered in 1863, and they had mines all over these mountains. Can you see this picture and see all these mine dumps all over this mountain? These are some interesting pictures of Bingham. This was taken by the famous photographer Andrew Russell, the same one that took the picture, the famous picture at Promontory with the two engines meeting. Now he went up to Bingham afterward, and this is so these pictures was taken in 1869, the same year as the Transcontinental Railroad. Here's some aerial shots of Bingham Canyon. This is looking up from Frogtown all the way up to the confluence where the canyon divided. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the town was incorporated in 1904. Open cut mining started in 1906. Bingham was a rough and tough mining town with many bars and many other device, devices there. Over time, men wanted their wives and families, and so the town started to settle down. Look at this. This is a picture of uh, the police department in 1909. Isn't that a great picture of them sitting there? So we're going to start at Frogtown and work our way up the canyon and look at some of these great pictures of Bingham. We, we'll see if we can spot some landmarks that, were, that wasn't Bingham. As you pass through these tunnels, you entered Frogtown. Now this is where the train stopped from the valley. And from here you had to catch horses at one time up the canyon, either horses or wagons. It's a great picture there. But over time, it was built up and here's the town of Frogtown. And you see this neat little town with all these little houses in here. They had a car dealership here. Here's a inside picture of it couple inside pictures and then another landmark right here was the Royal Laundry. I didn't use this for years but it stood there for a long time. This is looking up the canyon to it. And here's some pictures of it over time. So then there was the Bingham Grocery. That was that was a neat old building right here. couple of pictures of that and here's a colored picture of it. Then Midway Service, that was a gas station right there. It's off a kind of a side street and the LDS church is in back with the Mormon church. Uh, here's a copper coal and lumber company. Here's a auto garage right here and there's some houses through here this is neat old houses 145 main 406 and 404 main i think these pictures were taken in 1961. here's some pictures of uh some bars right here Citizen Coal, it was a business up in there. Here's some great old colored pictures of Frogtown. Now this one's looking up in Freeman Gulch. This is the next little gulch that was in Frogtown. Neat old picture looking down on it. Here's looking down the canyon to Frogtown. This was taken in 1960. I love that little girl standing by the pole right there. I think that's really neat. And this picture right here to the bottom left is this uh, last little building. That would be fire station number two. Here's a picture of that fire station number two. 
And as you moved up the canyon more, you came up to the, where the schools was. At one time, Bingham High School was here. And Bingham Central, the elementary school. Here's some neat old pictures of the high school in Bingham Central, the elementary school. But then they moved across the street. Here's a picture. They call, I think they call it the old blue prison. It kind of had a bluish tint to this brick. Next came the Markham Gulch. This is where the famous Markham Bridge was. Here's a great picture of them looking from street level up to that Markham Bridge and the train going over the cross, across the top of it. This is the home of uh, Canyon Molder here, sitting right here on the corner. Also the Emerton Hotel was here. Here's a picture of that. Now this is looking down the canyon across the other way. And up on the hill was the Utah Power and Light substation. I have some great old pictures of that stub substation. This is when they was built in 1913. Here's some inside pictures of it. Kind of cool. This picture was taken in 1965 of the main building. But then they demolished the building. Here's some pictures of them blowing up this building up in Bingham. Then from Markham Gulch up, we went into the business district. Here's some neat old pictures of looking up town here. And what's that lady looking at? I don't know. Anyway, here's a roll of stores right here. And it would be the Central Market, the AG store, the Radio Shop, Union Drug, the Utah Power and Light, and the First Security Bank is right there in a roll. And here's another picture of it, a little clearer picture of that area right here. Then there was the post office where they built in 1933. It was a neat old building. Here's some great old pictures of them building this post office. You can see this construction right here. I love to look at these old pictures and how they did their construction techniques. This picture right here is the back of it. This is a colored picture looking down at the back of it. Now across, right across the street from the post office was the Utah Copper Clinic. This is where Dr. Fraser worked out of, right at this side. I don't know if it was called Utah Copper Hospital, but we called it the clinic. It was there, I had my physical taken there in 1969 to work at the mine. And then the Bingham Canyon Hospital, that was up the street a little more, and that's on the other side of the road, and that's where uh, Dr. Richards was. Now, Bingham was just this one street town. It was really narrow to boot. They say the average width of it was only 20 feet. Look at this busy traffic through here. This is crazy. They say you didn't want to be here during shift change because it was just a mess. Look at some of those pictures of a, this little street, this one street going up the canyon. Then there was the Princess Theater. Here's a picture of the Princess Theater. And here's Far Station number one, a couple of pictures of Far Station number one. Picture of the telephone company, First Security Bank. Here's a hotel on Main Street right here. And then the Hotel Belmont was here on Main Street. And other businesses. Here's a neat old picture of it in color. This is a Evans Drug right here. And then Jay-Z Penny had a store up here. I think it was like number three or four in the chain. And uh, before it was J.C. Penny, it was the Golden Rule Store. Here is a picture of the sign, the Golden Rule Store. Also, we had the, the county library up there, Bingham. And there were some houses just here and there along the street. Now, look at this picture. This is in back of the buildings. You can see these buildings went right into the mountainside. They built them. And the houses also, they built right into the mountainside. And so that was their backyard, was this mountain. 
And then up next was the would be the Union Hall. Here's some pictures of the Union Hall. They're all standing around right here. And this is 1951. And this is a great picture of it looking down the street to the Union Hall. Here's another colored picture of it. A little closer. Then moving up the street some more is uh, the Bingham stage line. So they had uh, this bus service to Salt Lake. Some neat old pictures of the Bingham, Bingham stage line. This one, the, they got the mine in the background. I guess they're taking the people on this tour in this, I guess it would be called a bus. It was. Then the next building up the street would be the City Hall. And there was a gel in the back of this building. It was this reddish brick and it it lasted a long time and being a bit stayed around for a long time. Here's a bunch of pictures of the City Hall building. This is a classic picture right here where you can see the horse and buggy and the cars on the same road and City Hall on the side there. This picture was taken in 1939. And then some great colored pictures of the City Hall. Look at some of these. And then up from the City Hall, we had the tunnel that went up to Copperfield. This is a one-way tunnel. He had a, cars had to wait out here for a light and then for their turn and they positive pass up to Copperfield, the little town of Copperfield. And then if you went up further, there was some more hotels up here. The Bingham Hotel, the Knight Hotel, Hotel California, and some boarding houses also. Then it went right into the mine and the mine was coming this way. If you go back down the street a little ways, it was the, or they turned off and went to Carfort Canyon. Right on the corner, there was the Bingham Mercantile Store. We called it the Bingham Merc or the big store. It was a two-story floor. You could find buy a lot Almost anything in this store, clothing and food and furniture. So one side of it faced the Bingham Canyon and then the other side faced the Carfort Canyon going up. So it was right here on the corner. This is where people would catch rides or celebrations is right here. Here's a picture of uh, Abbott and Costello performing for war bonds during World War II. That's a neat old picture. And colored picture of it right here. It closed about 1956, so then it was just an empty lot there. And no more. Oh, another interesting thing up in Bingham, they had one of the last horse postal service. You see this guy delivering the mail on his horse. It was one of the last in the country. Then I'm going to end with this beautiful colored picture of Bingham. You can just lose yourself in this picture and it really gives you a feeling what the town of Bingham was like.